I don't have any announcement to make on refugees. We're always looking at uh, um, uh, every option. I mentioned that there were 1,800 Americans, uh, American citizens, Palestinian Americans, that we try to certainly um, uh, um, uh, get home or come come to the states uh, after October 7th. We were trying to make sure that we got that done. As it relates to vetting and, and making sure that we are uh, vetting folks who are coming to do that, that is something that we take very, very seriously. Uh, that was White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre on a potential plan to bring Palestinian refugees into America. A group of more than 30 Republican senators sending a letter to the Biden administration demanding they end their plans to bring in refugees from Gaza and focus instead on securing the release of U.S. hostages held by Hamas. The senators write this, with more than a third of Gazans supporting the Hamas militants, we are not confident that your administration can adequately vet this high-risk population for terrorists ties and sympathizers before admitting them into the United States. Joining me now is Virginia Congressman Ben Klein, a member of the House Judiciary Budget and Appropriations Committee. Congressman, uh, what is your thought about these Palestinians coming to America and this plan out of the White House? Well, it just shows that this administration is not concerned about the national security of the United States or the United States citizens. Uh, when they're under the control of the far left in the party, uh, they're ceding control of campuses uh, to radical pro-terrorist groups. Uh, they've got the far left squad dictating to them the policies that are coming out of Congress, the votes that are coming out of Congress. So it, it's no surprise that this administration can't vet these individuals from uh, the Palestinian territories that want to come to the United States, and they should suspend any type of uh, al any allowing of its, these people to come into the United States until they have this security set. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it just seems like weird timing. I mean, to allow them to come now after all of these protests almost feels like it's a given. And I want to point your attention to the breaking news that we're following right now, Congressman. We're looking at a live shot right now at NYU, where police have started making arrests at the NYU encampment. NYPD officers on the scene making arrests at the NYU encampment. Congressman, I know that you just introduced a bill which cuts subsidies for elite universities over their DEI programs and anti-Israel riots. The House passed the Anti-Semitism Act yesterday. Supporters say it will help crack down on anti-Semitic anti rhetoric on college campuses. The bill received bipartisan support. What is your reaction to this breaking news now as we watch the NYPD in place at NYU making arrests? And tell us more about the bill. Well, it's far... It's really important that the police take action to restore law and order on our campuses. So I'm pleased that we're seeing arrests. But it's also clear that uh, for too long, these campuses have been able to either use taxpayer dollars or uh, get around using their own money without having the tax uh, to pay the taxes that are due to the United States. So we have to take a look at these policies. Uh, the DEI policies that are that are on our campuses um, are actually, um, you know, not contributing to the education of American students, and uh, we have to actually review those in Congress. That's what this bill does. Mm -hmm. uh, Ashley, jump in here. Well, I completely agree with the congressman and um, thank him for 100 percent for introducing this bill. I also think that the way to get these universities is really for the major donors, the big donors that are donating money that are former alumni. Um, stop giving. And obviously you've saw that a lot with Harvard and I think you've seen a lot of it happening with Columbia. And and I think that's the way you really get to the crux of this because they even though the federal money is completely important, so is that. Mm -hmm. House Republicans who backed the motion to oust former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, meanwhile distancing themselves from Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene's motion to oust Speaker Mike Johnson. Greene said she is going to introduce this motion next week. Congressman, what are your thoughts here? Tennessee Congressman Tim Burchett, South Carolina Congresswoman Nancy Mace, and Florida Congressman Matt Gates all coming out against this bill. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, against this potential motion. Burchett warns that the motion could end up putting a Democrat in control. How do you see it? Well, I completely agree. If we're not careful, uh, there are moderate Republicans who are ready to take advantage of a, a vacating of the chair to put in place a, a Democrat speaker. And uh, it's more than just who's in the chair. It's who's chairing the committees. Uh, you know, right now, I, I'm in 
Philadelphia with Chairman Jim Jordan and the Judiciary Committee having a hearing on the uh, defund the police movement and the anti-police rhetoric of the prosecutors here in Philadelphia and how it's led to an increase in crime. These types of hearings would go away if a Democrat took control of the House of Representatives. So we have to be very careful with a one-seat majority. Uh, we can't afford a motion to vacate right now. So I, I'm going to vote with those other members, a vast majority of Republicans who will vote uh, to table the motion to vacate. So what, what are the priorities then in the week ahead from your standpoint? Well, I think dealing with this motion, but also uh, returning to regular order, we have a commitment to putting out appropriations bills uh, that cut spending, that focus on our priorities, uh, uh, for example, of, of law and order, of supporting the police, and making sure that uh, we fund our uh, the State Department and uh, do it in a way that allows us to vet these types of Palestinian uh, pro-terrorist sympathizers who want to come over. Uh, we have to make sure they are not allowed into this country. Oh, harder and harder with an open border, that's for sure. Congressman, it's good to see you this morning. Thank you, sir. Thank you.